Alright guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is James, I'm Nobu. and today we are going to be watching Band of Brothers Episode 6. So, we left off with our easy, and our whole division. Division? Unit? All of, like, not I just Easy not Company, know. everybody. Anyway, our whole company. group. Company. Um, because more than the company, right? I don't know. Anyway, our whole group stationed, um, and we basically have to hold our own to this town. It's winter. We have not a lot of weapons and ammunition. And it, it literally ended with the other troops coming back and basically being like, it's hopeless, good luck. And that's essentially how it ended. So I'm very curious to see where this next episode goes. I really liked the focus on Winters. I know they're probably going to go around to other different characters. I wouldn't yeah. mind it if they stuck with Winters for most of the show. Because I, I kind of look at him as like the main character in a certain sense, just because yeah. we're following Easy Company and he was kind of like the head of Easy Company. So in a way, he kind of is like the face of the company. I mean, um, he is the most recognizable for And me. he's the most recognizable and we spend a lot of time with him in the training yeah. camp and stuff too. So I don't know. I'm curious. Uh, I, I, yeah, I, I don't know the history here. So I'm kind of going in blind at this point. Um, so as I was. The one to get up the Patreon. The next week's reaction episode seven is going to be up for early access. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out, and yeah, thank you just for being here. Thank you for joining us for watching. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Hopefully, you stick around. And let's just get into Band of Brothers episode six. Yeah, I do think they've done a really good job of making the whole cast feel very. Good. Like, like the actors they chose for everybody, they all feel like very real characters. And even though they only have like a few lines, some of them are like just you see them in the background. You see them consistently act that way in the background of every shot or whatever. And I think that's mm -hmm. it's cool attention to detail. Yeah. I'm seeing scenes that we've seen and I'm seeing scenes that we Yeah, I'm starting to recognize scenes. Which is cool. And then it's like an anime opening. <laughs> I know that's like a random reference, but it's like so you start getting some stuff and then you start start trying to be like maybe I shouldn't be looking so hard yeah. because I I'm, I'm really learning like what is and isn't part of the show. Yeah. Well, I can buy a stone word down around one round per man there for a while. Jeez. Fog was in, they couldn't drop, they couldn't resupply us so every time they tried to drop Supplies into us, they missed us and dropped them to the Germans. One of the guys got hit in the arm with a piece of shrapnel. A real cold night. We go to bed and I, I, my wife will tell you that the first thing I'll say is I'm glad I'm not in Bastogne. <laughs> That's crazy. No, it does not. One round per man. That's insane. Like, if I, if I didn't know this was real, I would think that was, like, hey, that's a little much now. <laughs> like, that's over the top. Well, I mean, reality is, uh, doesn't need any, what is it? Something, I forgot. Truth is stranger than fiction. Yeah. I got you, I got you. That was a really cool shot. Ooh, be careful, be careful. Oh my gosh. He's still shaving? What was that? Why is it so quiet? Here? I don't know. It's freaky how quiet it is. Come as he here. Come as he here, Schnell. Oh, that's a German. Schnell! Take him back to regiment. Take his coat, maybe. No? Well, I guess you don't want the other enemy uniform. Looks like a standoff. We we're digging in on the edge of the forest. We're on a sporadic artillery fire, General. We're taking a lot of hits and we have no aid station. Walk on our line at about 0300 last night. Couldn't find the 501st on our right flank. I tied it in with a squad from our second platoon, but sir, we've got some considerable gaps in our perimeter. And at least give us supplies. Close the gaps. This goddamn fog won't lift anytime soon. 
so you can forget about air cover. Your first battalion just pulled out a fort. Krauts on their tail. Tanks, Jesus. artillery, got no back. There's a lot of shit hidden. This is during the Battle of the Bulge, right? Are they? I think so. So this is during the Battle of the Bulge. I feel kind of on like. a different front. And that's why there's no tanks. I mean, I don't... Don't quote me on that, but... Oh my God. You ask around your bandage from your weight, kid, sir? How are you fixed? Uh, no plasma, a couple of bandages, practically no morphine. <laughs> yeah, so what are you, you supposed to, to do? To the third battalion He's like wandering supplies, around but... trying to... Well, like, as a medic, you know, no offense, but like, especially as a war medic, what are you supposed to do? You no, know, first battalion's pulled out of four. Heavy casualties. So if they're pulling back, then what the hell are we doing sitting here? We need morphine, that's all I got. What's this? Two medics in one hole? Yes, sir. What's going to happen to us if you take it? <laughs> huh? Then it's GG. Yeah. First sergeant, where's my foxhole? It's back here, sir. Maybe you, uh, maybe you missed it, huh? <laughs> this is the young guy. The cinematography of this episode is gorgeous. Do you keep your morphine from Holland? No. Hey, hey, uh, Doc, I gotta talk to you. How's that leg? And the hell with the leg? I'm pissing needles. Later. You seen him? Hopefully we don't oh. get hit by anything. They're out there. Yeah, and we don't even really have a hole because we can't dig so deep here. Have a job, Doc? Go on. I, I need scissors. You got scissors? Sharp scissors. Scissors? Uh -huh. Well, let's see. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll have to check the sewing room. My okay, bro. That skinny old drawer in the middle of the desk. All right. Uh, what about an extra thread in your aid kit, huh? How'd you morphine, guy? Ooh! Yeah, it was too quiet. Uh-oh. Yeah, actually, come on, you gotta give it to him. If he's gonna do his job, he needs some equipment. Medics carried where they could carry weapons, right? It just would slow you down. So, well, but also, I feel like they were on principle for some stuff, right? A lot, a lot of people were medics on principle, yeah. Yeah. Same with like the chaplains, right? Or yeah. I mean, the, the chaplain medics, which was pretty common too, wasn't it? Yeah. Go 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 go, go bro. Oh, gosh. oh, it's not that bad. Okay, I thought he was actually going nowhere. Not this shit. You don't want to go out in this shit and yell a medic. I don't need to go back to no aid station. Well, you're in luck, guys. You don't got no aid station. <laughs> Pinkala, scissors. I need scissors. You got scissors. What the hell, I need scissors for. You got your aid kit? <laughs> right, well, you don't need this. Not yet. I do. Work your way over to the third battalion, all right? You know what we need. Bandages, plasma, whatever you can beg, you beg. All right, and give me some goddamn scissors. I can't get it. <laughs> you get yourself a hot meal too, huh? Go. Hopefully he gets there. Yeah, I hope so. Hopefully no random, randomness Random happens. artillery attacks. Yeah. Hey, babe. Where the hell are we? You get lost in the fog too, yeah. Yeah, and the snow. You're like, watch like the crossfire and stuff. Bro, it doesn't even need to be a war to get lost in here. Shit. Oh! What oh, the heck did we just fall into? Come on. Come on. Come on. Dude, you could die from normal means. <gasps> oh! Watch out! We walked straight into their line, bro. What? Oh my god. No more feet. Let's go back to fast stone for plasma. Stone? It took us an out of five Doesn't your surgeon have plasma? No aid station, nothing. Just me and my buddy. Sorry, guys, we just can't help you. Oh, gosh. Oh. 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 Go, go, go. Move. Yo, be honest. What's in these things anyway, huh? Nothing you won't eat, Malarkey. Hey, and you also don't want to know. <laughs> Hey, baby, Hinkler like your share, huh? I should have shot him when I had the chance. What, running backwards, babe? Anybody oh, see Lieutenant Dyke? I perished. <laughs> Try Hinkle. <laughs> Come on. Hinkle, I'm home. 
He just strode the Hinkle Vinkle eats the armpit, huh? <laughs> Was he really guy that left or something? Yeah, yeah. He's their new, like, he's the new head of of the division, I think. Like, like under Winters. Back. Yeah, he's the guy who replaced Winters. But he's super young. Can you spare something from your eight kids, sir? I'm real short. I need cigarettes. Well, morphine? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. What happens if I get hit? <laughs> I'll be there. Bro, he's got a coat and everything. Here. I don't plan on getting hit. No, but no one does. Efron. Hey, Efron, you okay? No, my name, why don't you use it? Well, uh, it's Edward, right? Edward, are you serious? <laughs> Only the goddamn nuns call me Edward. Hey. This is a nice setup. Gordon, you want me? Oh, yeah. Morphine. Third platoon pounded up the contraband. Oh, wow, oh. that's a lot. Because I am. Okani. Doc. Oh, and uh, you gotta check on Joe Toy out in the OP. He's missing something. Is that the guy? Joe what? Toy. Missing something. Oh. You guys okay? We got hot food. Can you smell it? Home. Let's get the dance done. Huh. Where are your boots? Washington hey. up General Taylor's ass. Oh my gosh. Oh. Better in bare feet, Doc. Well, what happened? Took them off, dry my goddamn socks. I think I'm blown to hell. Okay? Shoot. Well, what's your size? Nine. Just like everybody else. <laughs> Goodness. I like seeing like stuff like that. Like the yeah. medic has, Like you wouldn't imagine. Like the medic's got to find people's shoes. My stuff. Oh, come on, Doc. Oh, this is a drugstore in here. No, I ain't my stuff. Oh, come on, bro. Four. Scissors. Thank you for coming. <laughs> he doesn't even ask. Hey, Doc. Four. Like you are so picking up Surrettes. Ali, leave God. You he ain't using this stuff, are you, Doc? I mean, personal like. <laughs> ah. Hey, Doc. Doc. I still got the itch. Every time I pee, it's murder. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, but yeah, I just what, don't like penis. some sort of urinary tract. Hey, he can't really yeah, fix probably. it. Probably. I can't feel my feet. Yeah, well, that's why you gotta move around, you know, so you don't get transferred. Should I take my boots off? Uh -uh. All you gotta do is just loosen them up. Besides, I'm sorry. Like I know it must be hell, but I can't help you. All right? Just drink. A that's the one guy, right? It's pissing that hurts. Shut it. Shut yeah, the that's hell the one guy. What's going on here, Bill? I'll find out, Lieutenant. I'll find out. I'll shut him up. I'll shut him up. Be careful. Be careful. I love this. This episode has a, an entire, like, yeah. a totally different feel, and I love it. It's like very. Oh, oh no. Watch out. Get down, get down, get down. Everybody get down. That was really cool. Ooh, gosh. Oh. Is that wood or was that his bone? Oh, oh okay, that's strapped on. Yeah, that's a wood. Okay, okay, like I that. thought that was his bone. Probably like out. a tree or something. That yeah, got I'm hit. sure. It is actually. It actually. I no, 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 no. I mean, look, his leg. It's it's healable. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's like bleeding like really. No, 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 no. A ton or something. No, no Doc, save the morphine. I can make it. Can make oh, it. what a badass legend! Hey, give us the jeep. Hey, hey. Uh, they called it. They called okay. it. Okay. Just be not waiting for blast. Imagine if you lived here. Like I know we think it's crazy, but this is a town. Yeah. Ah! He took a lot of hit. Watch the leg. Yeah, watch the leg. Get him in. Oh gosh. Is this place even a good place to send people? Coming through. It's probably further back. Is he bad? No, blow lead wound. No more. Ah. Nurse, you got plasma. Wait, please. Gosh. 
gosh, what is she, she doing? She's cleaning out the room, like. I guess. Hey, what's going on here? Why ain't these men evacuate? We can't evacuate. We're cut off. And they might just kill the the wounded if the Germans catch them. Some of them, anyway. Nice. This way. I need more food. Uh, you want that? Oui, you got plasma? Are you a surgeon? No, we don't got no surgeon. What's, what's this? Uh, from the bed. What, the sheets? Yeah, bro. Voila. Merci. I like how it's like in a church. Yeah. My name is Rene. I'm Jean. Eugene Rowe. Louisiana. Half Cajun. I was wondering what the accent was. Et toi? And that's how he knows French. Aston. Probably. Sure. Eugene! Oh, took boots. Chocolat! Oh, oh, oh dang! dang. Pour vous. Dang, bro. Got a little connection going yeah, there. Yeah, I think so. I think he might have like moral reasons for being right too. Amen. Possibly, Because of like yeah. the prayer he was saying. I think it was like Augustine's prayer or something too. So it's not just kind of like a random prayer. That's it, guys. Nothing more to worry about. We gonna die now. We gonna die in state of grace. Right, <laughs> Hey, man. How you want a reconnaissance patrol? Crowd, honey. All right, I'll go take these. Give the boots to Joe Toy. Tell him there are nine. Back in line, private. All right, that's it. Let's move out. Tactical columns, gentlemen. Doctor, it's a combat patrol. Why don't you uh, stay back and keep your ass out of trouble, huh? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. I mean, that would probably be the smart thing. That is I the mean, smart thing. The medics are too valuable. I like how he's looking out for them, though. Like, yeah. he, he's not like a coward in any way, shape, or form. Oh, yeah. He's looking and being like, how can I help my men? Ominous. Oh, oh gosh. Dude, oh. oh. And we don't have a medic. Questions in! I'm all on! Get you down, Julian! We gotta make a move! And if, if they cover the wound team, they might actually help him. I mean, it's a lot, yeah. Like, if it just went through. Oh, no, it's not right through his neck. Holy, that guy was shooting the M1 over. What's happening, sir? We're pulling back. We made contact. I gotta get to the CP. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. He should crawl over. I don't know. Well, yeah, I mean, maybe. I feel like they're gonna keep firing anyways, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause they know they're there. Oh, no! You gonna leave him? Jeez. Eating out. Yeah, I mean, if uh, nothing, if that. He might not be able to breathe, also. Like. Oh, there's that, too. He. He may be drowning in his own blood yeah. at this point. Come on, let's go! Where the hell are we? Straight ahead! Straight ahead. Is he gonna try to go get him? Oh, oh gosh! Doc! Set it up on the rock! Easy CP, easy CP, lightning! Oh, oh right in the chest, stomach? CP, yeah, it looks like it right on the side, kind of okay, like. Martin! We gotta go get him, sir! Did you hit an OP or they're lying? They're lying, sir! We gotta go back, sir! Get Julian out of there! No, slow back! We lost Peacock. Oh, he's back to the CP. Shoot! Get out of here! We gotta go back, guys. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Yeah, I mean, it sucks for that private, but like... I mean, it's just like, what are you gonna do, you know? Yeah. What was the purpose of the like? It was the a patrol. patrol. It was a combat patrol. 
But to like go so close to the line. Well, I think they didn't know where oh, the line was. They, it's impossible to tell everything right now. I think that's why we okay. keep like accidentally running into their line or yeah. patrols or. Oh dang, man! Yes, Ron. Toy. What you doing out here? Thanks for the boot stock. Doing fine. Are you still having trouble with your feet? Show me. Let me. Are they just too see. damaged from when he just did? Did he have. get? Did he get a uh, frostbite? Um, yeah, I mean he probably. Looks like That's it doesn't. More it? than frost, but like holy. Strange for a toy. Oh, okay. If it turns game green, oh, you could lose it. Massage your feet, change socks every day, and dry the wet ones around your neck. Do it. Working on it. You lose your feet, man. I mean, it's admirable that he wants to stay on the line. That's crazy. You seen that far? No. Why? You ain't in his hole. That's right. Dang, chocolate bar. No. Maybe. Good. Dude, even the chocolate he's not saving for himself. Like he's using it to yeah. treat, you know? I promised him if he got hit, I'd get his stuff and bring it to his mom, you know? Not a fucking crime, so strip him. Hey, no, it's okay. It's not. Not okay. Mm. Should have got to. How though? How you couldn't have? Yeah, it's like. <laughs> Bro, he's gonna go. Hey, what do you call those people again? Those Cajun healers. <laughs> Traitors. You know, my grandma was a Traitors. Your grandmother? Uh huh. Oh shit. <laughs> Laid her hands on people and cured them. Took away sickness, cancer, you name it. Your grandma did that? <laughs> I remember she used to pray a lot. <laughs> yeah, I guess she had to. <laughs> Talked to God about the pain she pulled out. Asked him to carry it away. I'm still trying to figure why they picked me for a medic. <laughs> Did they did they pick them? <sighs> Snap of Sometimes. a finger. I didn't realize that. Just like oh, that, I you're a medic. Know. I've had enough plan, doctor. Hey, how about you? <sighs> it looks so incredibly cold. Like I can feel how cold it is. Yeah. <sighs> and the pain of getting out from that blanket. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Be careful. Be careful, it's kind of bright out here. Stay down. Ooh. Is that US? I did not see it. Yeah! We got a supply drop? Wait, but... Careful, careful, careful. Oh, nice! Careful. Nice! Cause it finally cleared up. Oh! What the heck? No. They had the stripes. Yeah. Yeah, they miss. Oh, they're telling. Well, why did they shoot at us? Are they telling them something, maybe? Or, I mean, I guess they could have missed... Bro, the way they just drop, like, everywhere, they're just trying to... It's crazy. Yeah, is he gonna go help? Yeah. Oh gosh. They gotta find the wound. Two shots. Oh. Find the artery. 
Gosh. Rabbit. Jeez, bro. That looks really bad. Ooh. Dang, bro. Dang. He doesn't look like he's going to make it. Yeah, but I mean, he's like try, try, older. try. Is he dead? I think so. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, that was too bad of a wound. I'm credit to them for trying. Like, they really tried. I mean, he literally had his hand in the guy. And if they had caught the artery, maybe. Where did she come from? The black girl. The Congo. Oh, dang. How'd she get here? Just like me. She came to help. Hmm. Shukura? What? Your hands. I can't get the blood from him. My hands? Mm hmm. Oh, just... You're a good nurse. Covered in the blood. <laughs> I never want to treat another wounded man again. I'd rather <laughs> work in a butcher's shop. Interesting. But your touch calms people. Yeah, I mean, look, she's so, she's so, she has such self-control. God would never give such a painful thing. I feel like that's one of those things, though, that you know how you hear people talk about, like, if you're afraid to go to war, that means you're a good soldier. You know what I mean? Like that mm -hmm. fear. Like, it's almost the same with her, where it's like the fact that she. So, what's college like, Buck? You got time to hit the books with the cheerleaders running their fingers through your hair? <laughs> oh, babe, I can't even remember. Hey, it's done. Sergeant. Lieutenant. Wrap up. One's called me Edward. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Edward? What's your name? You, you, you don't look like an Edward. Yeah, you look like a babe. <coughs> he, got, he probably has something. You think? Going on with him, right? Well, remember we saw in the last episode he was kind of suffering with like PTSD a little bit. Those are our mm, tanks, right? That does not sound like. Oh no, those are not our tanks. Hey Doc, it's gonna get busy, pal. How are we gonna fight their tanks, bro? Let them draw you out. Hold your fire. Ready, boys. Oh all we gosh, got bro. Hold your yeah, what are we gonna hit them with? Like. Oh gosh, bro, this is insane. Oh, Don't shoot with that. It's not gonna do anything. Hold till they get really close. Oh, shoot. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Go. Shoot, bro. We just lost our gunner in like two seconds. I got it. I'm keeping it for you. Smoke. I can't my legs, dude. Take it easy. My fossil. Cut the plasma. Oh, my gosh. Bro, they're right there. This is insane. We got some help. This is insane. How is he not gonna get hit? Oh, they aren't tanks. Okay, they're like okay, half okay, tracks. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes me feel better, but still. I mean, uh, yeah, they're, they're still pushing. heavily armored vehicles. Stay with us. He's fine. He, he's fine. He's fine. Come on. They like hit his spine or something? Weird. Uh, maybe. No, no, it's also they have super a cold. stug or something. Was he putting plasma? I think so. Take the plasma. No, 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 no. Hey, hey. Come on, Walter. Come on, buddy. Hurry, Doc. Come on, Doc. I gotta get. 
It's so crazy that they can just do their job. Yeah. In the middle I don't know of how it. you do that. Standing on my hand. Hey! Are we gonna be able to hold this line? Or is everyone running? Where's his tag? Where's his tag? What's wrong with him? He's paralyzed. He can't do a thing. Father of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Eugene? Eugene? Are you... I need some help here. Are you alright? He's a little out of it. Yeah. He's a little out of it. Just like, okay, okay. You're totally right, dude. One for a dog. Just one scoop. Oh, that should be your prerogative, sir. All right. Man! Yeah, he's like, don't make me do it. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, McAuliffe wishes us all a Merry Christmas. <laughs> it's like, dude. What's merry about all this, you ask? Just this. We've stopped cold everything that's been thrown at us from the north. East, south, and west. Now, two days. That's insane. That's solid. Demanded our honorable surrender. Save the USA encircled troops from total annihilation. German commander received the following reply. So basically, we weren't for it. To the German commander. Nuts! <laughs> We're giving our country and our loved ones at home a worthy Christmas present. And being privileged to take part in this gallant feat of arms. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to y'all and God bless you. Not Christmas, sir. Look, it's stuff like that that's it's so little but but it so boosts morale. Uh, yeah, and morale is Everything. a huge factor. Picture of my girl. Good looking bright, Buck. <laughs> she's She's finished with me. What? Huh? You kidding me, bro? <laughs> yeah. <He's>, uh... <laughs> it's a time for Christmas, huh? It's rough. That's horrible, man. Just on top of all this hell. Oh, shit. I almost forgot. <sighs> Lucky strikes means fine tobacco. Where the hell did you get those? <laughs> Christmas, fellas. <laughs> Gotta thank jolly old St. Louis. <laughs> Be careful of those trees, bro. I'm shaking so goddamn much. I feel like I'm dancing. <laughs> Fire's not a good idea. Just a couple of minutes. We're in it down. I swear I thought I could smell a fire. You did. I did smell a fire. Are you out of your mind? I like how they all just come to it. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Ooh. Shoot! Oh. They saw it, dude. Put that out! Get out of here! Come on, Doc! Bro! Okay, get up. Not okay, lie down. Come on, okay, bro. Come on. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ah. They need you, buddy. Ah. Come on, bro. Come on. We need you. Ah, Come on, ah. bro. Ah. Bro. Ah. Ah. Uh, 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 He's gonna lose his leg. Uh, uh, I got morphine in my pocket. Give it to him. Uh, what do you want it? Uh, Officer uh, die. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, up. Uh, uh, what did he put on his head? Here you go, soldier. Take that. No idea. They're talking about something with tags though earlier. Eugene. To probably tell people like what the issue is. I don't know. 
if that's anything to do with it. Or if it has to do with like the witch doctor stuff or whatever. Oh, that's true, you're right. Dang. It's shots like this that make me love this show. Like it, it that's such an incredible, like Dang. Go get to town and get a hot meal? Where? Town's gone, bro. What about the? Oh, oh no. no, the girl, the bro. Don't uh, do this to nah, me. She's gone, dude. They're gonna do it. They're gonna. Oh. I had some hope. No. Get out of the church. Go. Run. I probably can't. They're probably all wounded and stuff. It's like... Holy... Dang it, bro. They're gonna do it to us. They're gonna do it to us. No, uh... Okay, so that was that was who he was coming to rescue. Gotcha. That's insane. I didn't know that. <laughs> Rude, though. We were they were doing fine. That was brutal. Yeah. That was a brutal episode. They got us, bro. I was like a little excited about that. Yeah, I was excited at first, and then as it started to get, like, get closer to the end, I was like, bro. They're going to kill They're it. not going to, like, leave us with this happy-go-lucky, like, budding romance or nothing like that. And this they did might, it. <sighs> this might have been one of my favorite episodes. Just because how so? of how interesting. It's such a... And it, it and look, Band of Brothers, the the entire show is doing something that you haven't really seen in like war movies, but but at least aspects of it I've seen before. Mm -hmm. And I think this was one of the first times where it was like this is a very new perspective, and it 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 was almost a lot more like like low key than some of the other episodes. That's not the right word, but but. Um, the, there was less action and, and just kind of the setup. And also I think like snow and stuff like that is just so cinematic, frankly. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. It's just, there's something about this episode and then the romance and the character and it had a totally different feel. And I really, I really liked that. And I think the perspective was so unique and you felt so vulnerable for him. And so then to see that like, Maybe this romance, like this little thing that was kind of like a shining light in all of this horror. Like that he literally could go back to safety of the town mm -hmm. and have to see that, like the town gone and him come back to like the one area that you were kind of like, well, at least we're not as vulnerable here. Have that shattered. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That just hit me. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, it's it's interesting. It's it's interesting to see that like you know the whole like you're not a main character kind of syndrome like <laughs> the fact that he he has all these things going on, you know, with him. And he has that little, you know, the, those little moments um uh, with I, I don't know her name, but the nurse. Mm-hmm. And the oh, fact did that we like, ever get no, her name? I think we did. Okay. But I just I don't remember it. But the fact that like you know, like that soldier coming in at the end there, or not the end, but like after the the church got bombed or whatever, yeah. and saying like, you know, medic, we need you out here. And he's like, What deal. the hell are you doing? Like, let's yeah, go. Yeah, it's like that yeah. he no one else uh, the the bigger picture doesn't care almost, you know. It just doesn't matter to the bigger picture. No, and it's like to him it matters a lot, just like that little the little um, what do you call it like a handkerchief, the handkerchief thing like even just the guy that died like you could see how dedicated he was to doing what he was doing yeah and then and then it's almost like because it it was interesting to see his character like you were like dude this guy's like crazy like he's so dedicated to his job mm-hmm. and so then to see him kind of like shell shocked. Um, I almost seemed out of character like it surprised me but when I think about it it's like it it, there are two different things going on here it's like you have your resolve which he does and his kind of morals and reasons for doing this but then to to hold those up in the face of the horror of war Mm -hmm. is a whole nother arc almost like that's a whole nother thing and so to see him like struggle to keep moving despite kind of the inevitable failure right like the inevitable people are dying even though he's trying to help them and people are and this girl that he likes dies even though she's doing great things like all these sorts of things the ability to kind of like push yourself past and move on which i think we see at the end there the trench where he kind of like makes a stupid joke about the guy and like on the front lines like he's yeah. on the front line is insane yeah, and I also think that what she said to him also affected him a lot. The idea of, you know, he was like, oh, like, almost like, aren't you almost like proud of what you have? Kind of like that gift. And she almost says like, no, it's, it's a curse. Yeah, it's like, it's not a good thing almost. And I feel like after that, he started to like, think about it differently. Yeah. It like affected him or something. I don't know how exactly. I didn't really think about it that much, but no, no. That's why I don't know. There's something about this episode that I just, I really liked. It really stuck yeah. out to me. Yeah, it was. It was very, very different. It was from darker the, than a lot of the episodes. Yeah, it was very tragic feeling. Yeah, yeah. but it had its own. I don't know. It had its own like charm to it, or something like. Well, and then it's almost like to the unappreciated, like like no one looks at it, and maybe they do, but I, I feel like at least as a viewer of the show and, and maybe kind of in, in, uh, in the narratives afterwards, you don't think as much of the medic or the priest or the whatever, like the nurse, like you don't um, almost by their very nature, right? They're like behind the lines. They're doing these sorts of things that, that, you know, almost feel safer in a certain sense, not the medic anyway, but like maybe the nurse or something like that. Mm-hmm. But, but they come with They're their own horrors. Job, like you yeah. arguably, some of these like medical people saw, more men die than some of the soldiers like watch them die up close like last breath last words yeah it's very different and i think that that's horrible to watch someone die in your arms is a horrible thing so i i I just i think that's very interesting like you were saying like the that this is not the main character like the the kind of opposite of that yeah it's it's just a very interesting it's it's yeah it's weird like the feeling that i have after watching this episode like i feel it is like very tragic it's just yeah but then very strangely at the end there it's like you move on yeah you shake it off and you move on yeah Hmm. yeah i don't know i mean let me know what you guys think in the comments down below um as always flying through actions gonna be up the patreon the next week's reaction episode seven is gonna be up for early access if you guys want to go ahead and check that out And yeah, thank you just for being here. Thank you for joining us, for watching. If you guys are new to the channel, uh, welcome. Hopefully you stick around. And if you do, we'll see you all in the next video.